I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and we are here today to do a planner setup. So I'm going to be setting up a back to school planner today with our new traveler's notebook kit. I will link everything that I'm showing you down below but for now we are just setting it up. So I've done a couple of these on video but typically they're either flip throughs or there are setups where I've kind of already figured everything out and decided how I'm putting everything in. Well, I haven't done that this week, so we are going to be figuring this out as we go. So I've got my dashboards. I did uh, wrap the inserts with, with vellum already, and I will show you those as we go. I've got a washi card and some cardstock. I've got some stickers got some paper clips. I've got all our goodies here for the kit. I've got the die cuts. I've got a bow. I've got our bookmark. I've got our paper clips, the floral swag, and a floral clip. So that's what we're going to be using. And we're just going to go ahead and set this up. Of course, I do have, you know, extra kind of scrapbooky supplies to add as we get going but I won't know what I need from there until we're kind of going. So let's see. The first step, of course, is to put the inserts in the notebook. This is one of our custom covers with the glitter spine. This one is scalloped in the aqua. Uh, we have aqua, silver, rose gold, and gold that are glitter. Rose gold is my favorite, but rose gold everything is my favorite. <laughs> That's not really a fair question. All right, so what we're going to do, I think we'll put them in weekly, then menu, then budget, then notes at the back. So the first insert um, has the globe vellum. Globe. And then it has our weekly insert, which has the full vertical boxes because this is a B6 size planner. So these boxes, of course, fit any of your stickers, Aaron Condren, Happy Planner, Traveler's Notebook size, whatever you're, whatever you're working with. There we go. I always love putting the inserts in. It's just, I don't know. It's one of my favorite parts. Then we've got the menu planner. It's got this cute bow washi, or not bow washi, bow vellum. I love this. And I love how this bow ended up being like right over the apples. It's like an apple wearing a bow. Is that weird? I thought it was cute. And then of course the list inside, you have your grocery list on the left. And on the right, you have your meal planner where you can plan out what you're having for each day. Makes it very easy because Otherwise, I'll be like, oh no, it's time for dinner. I have no idea what food's in the house, let alone what to make. All right, and then we have the budget planner, which has our cute little unicorn vellum. And it's actually a unicorn planner vellum, which is kind of like the best thing ever. I printed a second one of these for my planner. And then the budget insert, and the budget insert, of course, has that cute little... I've been calling it a protractor. Is that the right word? I should ask my brother. He's a math teacher. He would know. Um, and then, of course, bill, amount, due date, paid, and you can check those off, yes or no. So I'm setting this up. Um, it's a back-to-school planner, so it's August. We're going back to school. But I'm kind of thinking, you know, while a student or a teacher could use this, I'm setting it up more for a mom whose kids are going back to school. Um, I think it's pretty cute and then our last one is notes and it's got those cute textbooks and then inside you've got three-fourths of the book is dot grid and then you have a to-do list on the side 
so that you can use that any which way you like. All right, so we've got our four inserts. Then I did cut out four um, dashboards, and I think we're going to do them in this order. No, that's wrong. This order. I want this one up front, I think. Yeah. I've got a lot of aqua on the cover um, because it's the aqua scallop spine. So I think I'm going to go ahead with the pink up front to kind of displace that a little bit. This was just strung last night, so it's still got a lot of snap to it, which is nice. I picked up these papers from Hobby Lobby, and so they seem to have just a lot more smudges than normal, which is a little strange. I don't know if their printer, whoever manufactures their papers off, or if whoever's putting out the papers is off, or, or what. But it's kind of strange. Luckily, it's not really noticeable. And, I mean, put some die cuts and stuff over it. If I didn't pull out any journaling cards, I'll get some. I was forgetting something. Alright, so there's our four inserts, and I think, I think that looks pretty good. Um, do remember that, like I said, this, this notebook I just made and strung last night, I, I had a silver one ready to go, and I have some rose gold ones. Those are the more popular ones in the shop, but I just thought this kit would look so pretty with the aqua, and I didn't have a B6 aqua in, this, in stock in my inventory, so I had to make one real quick. Journaling cards. I need a journaling card. Got all kinds of stuff. I'm just going through my little cart real quick here. Of stuff. And I should have a stack of journaling cards in here. Here they are. I okay, know I put them in here. There we go. Alright, so we're going to start, I think, with the inside front pocket. So I did cut already a piece of cardstock. It's just part of one of these dashboards to go in here. And then our washi card which I made, and it is this um, bow vellum with the, there, I was like, that's the wrong side, with the holographic foil over it. And then I started you out with a couple cute washies. So, I don't know if you've gathered by now, most people have, but when I put these kits together um, to kind of show you what they look like, they're then for sale in the shop. Um, as much as I love them, I don't need 50 planners. I already have six that I use, and so I like to put together the full kits. I offer all the digital papers and inserts and die cuts and everything in the shop, so I do like to put it together so everyone can see kind of what it looks like, but then I really don't need to keep it, so I do offer it for sale in the shop, and that seems to be a better solution. Put a little rose gold toily in there. I think I'm going to cut that down a little. So far, so good. That's better. Alright, so... I had a thought. Oh. So you do have two cards up slots up front, one that's hidden. I like to do a hidden one. So if you're carrying around like your debit card or something and you don't really want the numbers visible, you can just slide it back into that slot. But then we have the card slot up front. 
And of course, it's going to be extra tight. I mean, well, or maybe my business cards aren't the right size. I think they're wider. Yeah, they're wider than a credit card. I was thinking I'd slip that in there, but it's... The credit card fits perfectly, but this one looks a little bigger. My mom sews these for me, and apparently she shows, sewed this one a little bigger this week. That's okay. We will figure something else out. All right, let's look through the die cuts and decide what we want to use. So this particular kit has like six pages of die cuts. Sorry, y'all. So there's no way that I was cutting out all of those die cuts because you don't need them for the whole planner. So I just cut out the cute ones. Well, they're all cute, but the cutest ones. And part of the reason that they're all, there's so many pages is because there's, like this particular gal comes in four different skin tones. So I think there's, uh, 24 girls on their own. I tried to grab a good mixture, but I think I only printed three girls out for this part. Alright, so part of me thinks I should use the school bus up here because it's so big. Oh, I don't love it there. Let's look at our journaling cards. Ooh, a journaling card would look cute there. Okay, good call, y'all. see if we like that one the most. That's like literally the first one I picked up. Or if there's a better one. It's too much pink. No, I like that one the most. Okay. So if we clip that in with, let's say, a bow. There we go. Still need some stuff up there. Okay, so let's think. Okay, y'all. So I went and cut out uh, just a little card of um, scrapbook paper, the same one from the dashboard, to put in this pocket since the business card didn't fit. And I really just want that to give it a little bit of structure. Um, and then I cut this little bit of, what's it called? It's from this thing I got, paper lace from Michaels, and it just has different colors, blush, rose gold, or I wish rose gold, gold, white, and this tealy kind of color. So I just cut a little bit of that to go back there, and then let's see, I think we need another die cut up there, maybe a sticker, maybe a sticker. picked up these stickers at Hobby Lobby and they're very back to school-esque. I'm trying to decide. Um, and I have a mixture of the puffy kind of foam stickers and the double-decker clear ones. I really like how these always end up looking in a planner. I don't necessarily want to put that. I think I'm going to put it down here. I don't really want to put it um, on the leather per se. 
like a little on the leather is okay but up here would be like full on on the leather I'm gonna move the bow and then re-put the bow on after I do this I think so a little of that and then easier if you have like 12 hands but I'm just a normal person I only have two there we go. So move the little bow kit over here so you can see as much of that planner as possible that look. Mm, that is not quite what I want. So see this is why I normally kind of figure this stuff out first so that you don't have to see all of it. But I think I may put this up here. That would be cute. You could easily paper clip it right back here. Maybe I need a different bow. Maybe that one's like the wrong shape. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Let's do it that way. And then if I have a long... Oh, I think I have an idea. We'll see. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Okay. Cooking with gas now, y'all. Okay, so I kind of think I need something like here or here. If this would stay, I think I'm going to have to, I know what I have to do. Okay. I cut that really snug because I don't want it to, you know in the way. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. I have to go get some washer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is wash it on the back. And that should work beautifully. Washing it on the back, we've got to just do some like this per se. That'd be good. So leave a note, a note, a note down below and tell me do you like this style of a setup better? Where I'm literally figuring it out as we go. Do you like just to see the finished, like flip through setup kind of video where I do all of this off camera and then you just get to see the finished flip through? Or do you like it better when I do kind of in the middle and already figure everything out but put it together on camera? Okay, so leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will leave um, links to two of the other kind of styles that I do. The other two styles. One that's fully set up and you're just watching the flip through and I'll leave a flip through to one where I've already got everything figured out but I'm just putting it together. And let me know because I would like, well I want to know what you guys want. Um, I feel like doing the full thing on camera like this where I'm figuring it out is very long and cumbersome and probably annoying to watch but I don't know I kind of like to watch them because I like to see the full thought process so you know let me know I'll do whatever you guys like until then I'm just gonna keep doing all three um, 
so that you have a variety. There we go. Let's put our little globe back. nail. However will I live? I won't. I think what I'm going to try to do is put this little guy up here. Like right behind the globe kind of on that paper. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. I'd like something up here, but short of putting a sticker right up there, which I could, I mean, I could put something like this little guy up here. I think that's cute. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, could always come back and add more later. All right, so on to the next thing. I think I want to clip be the school bus here. Something big. Yeah. I feel like I need more shtf. I have journaling cards. Maybe one of these would be cute. Oh, I bet this, this journaling card would be cute with this bus because he'll break that up. journaling cards because they're big but then they also give you places to write things down which is very nice heart let's see maybe this little xoxoxo chipboard dude down here layered on top I think layered though should be like right this line. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Alright, I just had another idea, so I'll be right back. I feel like I'm going to say that a lot. Okay, so basically, I decided that I wanted to add one of these little chipboard stickers, and they come in a pack from like Hobby Lobby. But what I really like to do is take my watercolor pens and watercolor them because then you can make them match whatever setup you're doing. But you do have to do them so they can dry. So let's go ahead and do it now because I want to use it probably a couple dashboards back. So this is how I do it. And I just kind of ombre, so I'm going to do the D pink, I think. There we go. And then let's do, I'm thinking like an aqua kind of color on the M. Not loving that pink so much. Let's see if I can layer something over it. I was changing a little bit. This is a pretty light pink, so it's not going to do too much. And then you just start to pull color out into other colors. And I'll get a lighter blue. Mm, maybe not lighter, just different. It's different. Okay. That's good. And then what I'm going to do is grab this one, 
just kind of a yeah layer that on top of that I'll change it this is a purplier pink so we're essentially mixing colors the old-fashioned way because that's what we're doing we got watercolors all right so then layers lighter pink on this E I'm going to have to blend in between those a little bit. Get a little purple. Use this lighter kind of gray. Perfect. We're getting there. There's the first pink. Here it is. I'm going to put that up top and then pull it down and into that A. Okay. So far, so good. I need something to wipe my pen off of. There we go. So these pens pick up color really well, so it's picking up, of course, that blue. Hey, Jasper, my cat just came to see us. So if you don't want to keep redistributing that blue, you have to clean it off. I'm going to blend this a little better. There we go. I think that's perfect. Dream. I'm going to take that second blue I had and just clean the top of this A off a little bit. You don't want to do too much or you'll undo the ombre kind of blending that you did but I do want it to be just a little cleaner and then I think I'm just gonna take one last bit of pink go right in here and blend those just a little bit more and then to clean off my brush I'm just see and now you've gotten rid of that color easy peasy lemon squeezy Alright, so now all I'm going to do is set this right up here and let it dry. And it won't take long. Um, if we were working on papers, it would probably already be almost dry. But since we're working on that chipboard material, it really likes to hold color. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. Oh, cat. Does anybody need a big black? Cat named Jasper. Hi, Jasper. I love you too, sweet boy, but you gotta go on. I'm working. He says, um, pay attention to me. Let's put one of these cute little gals over here. That's cute, and she needs something behind her. Ooh. Jesus. Oh my god, you guys, my dog just scared my cat. Right, like, he jumped up and grabbed me with his claws. You know, he didn't mean it, but oh my god, it scared me more than anything. I will let him live. Even though he scared the Jesus out of me. Crazy cat. I'm just looking through some scrapbook paper here to see if I've got anything that would work. To go behind it. I don't like anything in here. Let's see what else. What else do I have? I don't know. Just a second, y'all. Let me look. Oh, maybe one of these. Got these stickers. Ooh, I've got an idea. I've always got ideas. That's half the problem, isn't it? Okay, so I've got these rose gold stickers that I use quite a bit. And I'm thinking maybe one of the best friends ones. And I'll put two of the gals together. Okay, that would be cute. So if I put one gal like here. Let's see how 
how this is going to work. And then, obviously, I'm going to have to use this sticky to stick the second girl down. So if I put her like here, best, and then friends kind of over it. I think that's going to work, but she needs to be turned just a little bit. So let's put her firmly under the paper clip so that she does not blow away in the wind. And then, best. Friends. I could even put the third one there. I think that's cute. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna put this down a little. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of double stick tape and we're going to put the third girl down. Love it. Okay, so then last but not least, I'm going to see... love these girls. Oh, that would be cute. All right, so let's see if I put this up here like this. It'll cover that mark that whatever made. And then I've even got a little BFF one to layer it here. And I think that turned out super cute. really like that. Alright, so let's move on to something else though, because I could do this all day. It's half the problem. Alright, so I do have, let's see, I have these. Let's see about making a little montage with one of these. I think in the books. Right. Did you well. ever get a chance to um, hot glue my ah, pen? Ah, ah. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, do you just see what I did? I dropped the sticker and it picked up all my die cuts. Oh no. It's okay, they'll come off. I have not, but I just used my hot glue gun. I can do it right after this video. I can't believe I did that. Well, I can't believe I did that. I do stupid things all the time. But, did not plan to do that. Alright. So, I think maybe a bow behind it. One of the ones I just, like, picked up. Ooh, maybe a bow on top of it. Maybe no bow. When do you have to leave for work? Well, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. This needs something else, but I'm just not sure what yet. Maybe just some of these little dots. Maybe after I put it down. You know what? I should do it right here to cover that little bit of black mark. Okay, let's see. So I've got these little peachy pink dots that look really cute usually. And I'm just going to go ahead and layer a couple of these kind of around it. And I think that'll be really cute. Yeah, that's cute. And then 
maybe a couple over here. And then oh, maybe this little to do sticker. Yeah, that's cute. It matches the little dots. That's cute. Just a little montage there. Alright, so let's go back here. This should be dry. Yeah, it is. So let's see where we're going to put this guy. Ooh, on this. That's where we're going to do it. Although, alright, I have an idea, you guys. Have an idea. Bet you're sick of me saying that by now, and it's not even been that long of a video. It's okay. I have an idea. I'm gonna get out some more of this scallopy stuff, and I'm gonna see about putting it at the bottom there. I dropped the skizzles. I dropped the skizzles. see how long would it need to be to here. when you're working with these little like die cutty things every once in a while you just gotta pop out some of the little ones so I'm just gonna pop those out so you've got all the little holes there we go just be careful if you use an exacto knife for that because uh, that thing is sharp So I'm just going to put that there, and then I'm going to layer this on top of it. Now, it would be better if I put some glue on the back of this, wouldn't it? I don't know that this glue will stick to that glitter background, which is why I wasn't going to bother, but I figure it's worth a try. I'd go. Oh, okay. You know what I need to do is I need I have some heavy duty adhesive spray. I need to go spray it with that. That'll stick to that um, glitter. Okay. I'm gonna go spritz this. When I do that, I just lay it down on a box, spritz it, and then pick it up with my little tweezers. It makes it really easy. So I'll be right back, y'all. Alright, so now I'm just going to place it down here. There we go. That'll stick to just about anything, that stuff. And now we'll put the dream sticker on it. I like it how this is turning out. I hope you guys are. I think I need another journaling card to clip in. I don't 
don't know. I've already used two journaling cards. I mean, there's no law that says you can't use as many as you want, but <coughs> yeah, now. So I think I'm going to try to use this little pink and teal one here. Maybe. Clip it in here. With... <laughs> Maybe a bow, and what we've got left. We've got this little lunch sack would be cute here. I don't know why we would have a. Oh no, we need to save the lunch sack for the menu insert. That would be cuter. Let's just clip in. I think that little football. Oh yeah, right. There. That's cute. And then you know what? Instead of this one, I'm going to use one of these. I've got these pretty camera clips. I think one of these would be good here. Alright, so die cut football. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, on to the next one. I'm thinking, oh, this one's got a lot of it on it. That's frustrating. Alright, oh, I've got this cute all smiles one hanging out. I've also got this cute just just like mom sticker. Maybe we'll do this one here. Ooh, I've got an idea. Okay, so if anyone knows where I stuck my doilies, that'd be good. Use a rose gold toilet about now. Here they are. Okay, got it. So here's the question. I'm thinking if we cut the bottom. Cute. And a little on both pages. On both sides of the page, I think. Like this. And then put that little sticker on it. So the only question is, I think if I just put adhesive at the bottom here, then I can use this as a pocket. But, alright, so here's the idea. I'm going to have to take this off this foiled doily. It's ruined it. Oh well. Got multiples. Okay. So. You'll see. You'll see what I'm going to do. It's going to be awesome. It's worth it. It is worth it. 
right, so I'm gonna fold up the inside instead of cutting it off. I'm going to fold over the side that I want on the other side. Dandy juggle, double, double stick tape. I want to do two things. First, I'm going to put some right here. Put the bottom down. Someone driving in my neighbor's backyard. That's strange. Oh, my spray tent's blown over. I need to take that down. I'm going to put a piece here. Okay. So, what that should do is allow me all kinds of fun. So, I'm going to put this like this on the bottom, line it up. Okay. To the top around the corner and I need a piece on this other side and this side I'm not going to worry about making a pocket so I can glue the whole thing down and we'll see if that double stick tape holds on there and then we are right back to this and now I'll cut a couple things maybe to put in there but for now I'll just show you with a die cut card you can stick things in here now like a pocket and if that's not the cutest thing you've seen all day you're lying, because that's adorable. That is adorable. So I either leave die cut card or journal cards in, or I might cut some corresponding note cards. I also think somehow I need to spray this with the good adhesive, but I don't know how to spray it without getting it all over everything else. Maybe I can do it. Need like a shield, right? Like some cardboard. All right, you guys, stay here. I'm either gonna ruin the entire book or make it work. All right, so I just took the dashboard out, and I just put some cardboard here and sprayed the edge, and then folded it over, and so now it is perfectly in place. And so since this is actually the budget insert. Um, this would be a perfect little pocket for receipts because you could just stick them right in there and then either keep them there or use it to store receipts until you get home. But either way, I kind of think that was genius and I'm really proud of myself. <sighs> Does anybody else get like that? Just me? Okay. All right, so here's the question. I know, I know it's not a unicorn kit, but look at this right here. I think this is going to have to happen because I kind of think it's perfect. I mean, it just fits perfectly, you know? So, we're going with it. Alright, so we saved our lunchbox die cut for this. And what else? What else are we going to put back here? Hmm. Could do the all smiles die cut. Yeah, that's cute. Alright, so let's put some tape on the back of this. I think this is turning out really cute. If 
can say so myself. I am a little prejudiced. Prejudiced, biased. Biased would be the proper word. I am a little biased. But trust me, even when it's your work and you've made it, you like some better than others. I like this one better than uh, the one I did last month for fall. I liked the fall one, don't get me wrong. It just, I don't know. I think this one's cuter. Lunch. Because everyone loves lunch. Everyone I know loves lunch. All right, and then on the back, I think I'm going to do my last sticker planner with this little planner. I think that would be cute. And then we'll look, th flip through the book and just see uh, if anything else needs anything or if we think it's done. We've got a couple die cuts left, but we've used most of them. Okay. Oh, and it's a You Are Magical planner with the unicorn planner. See, there's a unicorn right there. That's cute. Okay. So let's just flip through and see what we think. But I think we're probably good. I do like how that turned out. I kind of think this needs something. So we're going to make a little montage here, I think maybe with some books and some letters and maybe some pencils. That would be cute. And a pen. Yeah. Just a little something. Doesn't need everything, doesn't need a huge something, but everything needs a little something. This needs something to cover that because apparently they hallmarked that page. Show. When in doubt, I have. Oh, where did they go? Over there. enough to cover it. Yeah, just that little bit of doily. Alright, so I'm going to spray it and I will be right back. Okay, and if you're not a big crafter, you may be wondering, like, why I'm using double stick tape for some things and uh, glue stick for other things and spray adhesive for other things. And basically it just depends on on what the type of material is. Doilies with all those holes, even with a glue stick, they need something a little stronger to hold them down. I've just learned that over the years. And then, um, like anything on that glitter, not much sticks to that. That ad adhesive that I use though, it's a construction based adhesive and it will bond to almost anything. So it's not just a regular paper adhesive that I'm using. It's just, it's from 3M. I get mine at Sean Williams when I'm buying paint and supplies for my hardware stuff uh, when I'm painting furniture. But yeah. It works really well, especially for this kind of stuff. So we're going to ignore that. So far, so good. I think that's going to be really cute for receipts. Okay. So 
all of that looks good. So now we get to do the fun part. My favorite part. We get to add all the supplies. All right, so I like to add, and first of all, I'm gonna trim this down because apparently I probably cut it the same as the wide one, and this is not a wide, this is just a standard, and it's too long, it's been driving me nuts. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. All right, so I always like to put the floral clip kind of up front in the first weekly insert. So I would put this one on whatever weekly pages that I'm using. And I don't know if you saw that, but this has a rose gold apple in the middle. Rose gold apple, y'all. I was so excited when I found that. Okay, so I would put that on whatever week it is. Then on the next one, I would put the little uh, floral, it's not a floral, that's a bow clip with multicolored stones. Oh, and it's on the bow insert. Oh, that would be so cute. So I'd put that on whatever week it is, whatever week I'm using. Say so this is my week I'm planning my meals for. Let's see how that goes. It needs to be over just a little bit. There's not a lot of tough game on this one, is there? It's okay. Not every planner has to have killer top game. Plus, you know, whoever buys this may have clips of their own. <sighs> Alright, so then we have the paper clips with the globe. And I would say I like to put one in the budget planner or whichever part of the budget that I'm currently on. And then I like to put two in the notes section because I feel like I like to keep lists in my notes section and then you can flip through them. So this one just has leaves back to school. So we've got some leaves. And the third one has just some really pretty beads that match the bookmark. I would put those down here in the notes section. And of course, once you get this, whoever buys it, you can put them wherever you want. But that's how I find it works to be the best. Then we've got our bookmark. And it's got the another globe. A couple leaves, two leaves, one silver, one rose gold. And some of those pretty beads. All right, and then I like to string that one. I'm kind of in the middle. It, I mean, it all just really depends on on how you use your planner. All right. There's all the pretties, and the last last pretty there is. Dun dun. feel like this is the most dramatic and the best part because A means it's done and B is just my favorite part is oh, I think that's a good good size the floral swell dun, 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 dun. Right, that was very dramatic so this one has a big pink pearl and one of those little rose gold apples and you just take the Velcro and you just put it right over the top and there it sits. So there you go. There's the back to school notebook. We'll do a flip through real quick. My bin is empty. Goodbye bin. And then, and then we'll be done. I just have to take pictures of it and we'll go from there. So. kind of clearing off everything on my desk here so we have room to do a proper flip through all right so from the beginning we've got the front page we've got the aqua spine aqua glitter spine 
We've got the floral swag that has the coordinating accents. We've got our bookmark at the bottom. We've got our floral clip and bow clip at the top. All right, so when we open this baby up, I always, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I always like to pull the floral swag till it's at the bottom so I can see it when I'm in my planner. Is that weird? Is that just me? It's so pretty. I want to see it, you know? All right, so we've got our front pocket, and of course we've got our washi card. We've got two card pockets so you can slip your uh, business card in. Bottom one, apparently the top one. The wrong size. It's the size for a credit card. Um, but the bottom one fits a business card. And then we've got our first dashboard. And it is our weekly insert. You've got your paper clip up top that cute rose gold apple I just I love that I think that is the cutest detail oh we've got the back dashboard vellum then we have our menu our meal planner insert with our cute little bow we've got our dream notes little note card we've got our budget insert our bookmark and our first paper clip and those are the two matching ones with both with globes I think the globes turned out super cute they're very back to school esque without being like back to school esque you know what I mean then on the back of the budget dashboard we've got our little pocket so you can stick receipts we've got our unicorn lunch this is notes. I thought this was the menu planner, which is why I put this here. And apparently I'm an idiot. But we can just switch that out if we really wanted to. <laughs> Everybody was probably like, what are you talking about? That's the notes insert. <laughs> Maybe I smelled too much of that glue. All right. So we've got the one paper clip and the second paper clip. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's just going to make me laugh. And we finished it all out with a cute little planner. So that is it. I hope you liked it. Let me know below <coughs> if you like this style of a setup video where we literally go through everything together. I felt like we had to start and stop a lot more than, <coughs> than if I'd already had it figured out. But at the same time, you know, I paused the video so I don't think that affected you guys too much. I just think it's annoying. If I was watching it, it would annoy me. So either way, just let me know what you think. I will post the link for this baby below. So if you are interested, jump over and pick it up before it's gone because I am kind of obsessed with the color palette for this one. And if you are a mom, it is all set up and ready to go for kiddos back to school. So I hope you guys loved it. Bye.